Hi, it's Barbara. And I'm Mark. And welcome back to Wiki Design. Today we wanted to talk about what you do if somebody steals your website's content. This is an unfortunate thing that happens sometimes, and it's happened to us a few times. At the beginning of the year, we noticed that someone basically stole all of our website's content, and it's been kind of a ride to figure out what to do. So we wanted to make a video to explain the process in case this ever happens to you. We actually found out like the first week of 2022 that somebody stole our website content. And it was kind of interesting how we found out. We actually found out by Ooh, checking Google, Google <laughs> Analytics. Yeah, I'm always checking our real time stats on Google Analytics. And I noticed that there was a lot of backlinks coming from this uh, website where basically stole our content. So I was able to see that he just stole a whole bunch of our content and left a lot of our links on his website. So when people would click or you know he would click on it, it would come back to our website. So that's how I first noticed that somebody stole our content. Yeah, and we also noticed that he was stealing content from other websites as well. So basically everything on this website was stolen. Mm -hmm. Not a good look. From at least two or three sources, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of it was our content. So we obviously were pretty annoyed by that. So what we had to do uh, was file a DMCA complaint. And if you're not familiar with what the DMCA is, it stands for Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Prior to the DMCA, the US copyright laws didn't really apply to the internet because it didn't exist. But in 1998, Congress amended the US copyright laws to include the internet. And that's where the DMCA comes in. The amendment included a takedown system that would allow people to say, hey, somebody stole content from my website or stole my images they need to get taken down. And a lot of hosting companies have this available, this form that you can fill out to file a DMCA complaint if your content is stolen. So that was really step one of the process was to file this complaint. The first step you need to do to file this complaint is go to a website like this. You can go to Google and just type in, where is this website hosted? There's a lot of services, as you can see here. You just plug in a website URL and it's gonna tell you where that website is hosted. So the way it works with DMCA takedowns is you have to contact the hosting company, not the domain register. So you can have a situation where someone bought the domain name at GoDaddy, but is hosting on, I don't know, HostGator or whatever other hosting service. So the way it works is you have to go to the hosting company. So what you do is you go to the hosting company's website and normally like in the footer, or you can even Google search DMCA uh, abuse form space hosting company. So that's what we did in this situation. And we've done a couple of these in the past and we've actually had really good success where the hosting company took it serious. They took it down within, I don't know what, 24 hours in a lot yeah. of cases. That was great if it's a US based company. Yeah. So what <laughs> this guy did is if it's hosted outside the United States, so in this case, you can see right here, it's hosted in Canada. And as you know, Canada is not part of the United States and they don't have to follow the same DMCA laws like uh, a US hosting company would do. Right. Now, doing some research, uh, this company, as you can see, is called OVH Canada. Uh, they do not have a very good reputation for taking down DMCA stuff. So. Right. <laughs> That's what a lot of these, um, I would call them um, copyright, you know, infringers or what scam do you, artists. scam artists. Uh, they, <laughs> Let's be real. You could seek out hosting companies that do not comply to DMCA. So this might be a case where this guy knew he was going to steal content and just went to a hosting company like OVH, mm -hmm. knowing that they weren't going to take it down. Yeah. So I contacted OVH Canada and it took me several days to even get a response. Mm -hmm. And as you can see right here, I got an email. Finally, it's just a canned response saying that they're not responsible for the content on the servers because they don't actually manage the server. It's just a canned response. You can copy and paste that yeah. into Google and see tons of other people have seen the same exact can response. Yeah, it was kind of passing the buck, like we're not responsible yeah. for it because we're in Canada and we don't have to comply with yeah. US laws. <laughs> so supposedly I did a little research, Canada has like their own version of like a DMCA, 
but it's much more involved. It's taking a lot. It would take a lot longer to actually go through that process. And mm -hmm. in this case, it wasn't worth it. Yeah. So now Next thing yeah. we had to do was figure out if there was any other way that we could get this content taken down. Uh, so we decided to file a complaint with Google mm -hmm. because Google Google has their own way of taking down content in this situation if like a hosting company is not responding you could go to google and get that website pulled off of the google search results which and is kind of what we wanted to yeah. do because we don't want anybody to get scammed by this person yeah. because it's pretty they, clear that he's stealing from us and other companies and if somebody stumbled across his website and tried to hire him who knows what would happen so if we yeah. can remove him from search that's a good thing because then people won't be able to find him yeah and i'm going to show you right here this is the form on google that you can submit if you have a situation like us where you want it pulled from the google search results so you just fill yeah. out this form and i was actually blown away by how quick they responded and actually took down the content. I mean, it was within, I think, less than 12 hours. Yeah. All of the pages, I had five pages here, I believe it was. They pulled all of those pages off the Google search results. And so now you can see right here in the bottom of a Google search result, if you ever see this paragraph down here talking about that there's been a DMCA takedown, you can click on that and you can see right here you could see the pages because they make it all public. You could see the pages that I claimed as DMCA and it's taken down. So that's yeah. where we're at today. <laughs> that's where we're at today. The website, unfortunately, is still up and all the content that he stole from us and from the other companies is still there. Uh, we don't really think that the hosting company is going to do anything no. because they kind of just passed the buck, like mm -hmm. we said. Um, but we are happy that it's at least not indexed in Google. We could go to the DMCA website and try to pursue this further, but it's kind of like a long road. And, yeah, and because it's in Canada and it's not the U.S., they have to do a lot more work and it's going to cost a lot of money to do that. And we just don't really think it's worth it at this point. Yeah. And the worst case scenario would be you would have to hire a lawyer and go after these people. If you can prove that, you know, you've lost revenue, you've lost sales, mm -hmm. clients because of the stolen content, that's when you're going to have to probably spend quite a bit of money, go after them and sue them. So the first thing would be you hire a lawyer. You'd have to get a cease and desist letter. Mm -hmm. If they don't respond to that, that's when you're going to have to hire the lawyer and actually go through the whole process. So in our situation, it was just a few pages and, mm -hmm. you know, it's, we can't claim that he's stolen any uh, customers or anything like yeah. that. But you can, if you want to actually figure out how you, if any of your content's been stolen, what you can do is just go to, a, go to your website, take a few sentences from different paragraphs. Mm -hmm. You can see right here, I'm going to do an example. You can... Copy and paste, let's say, this sentence right here, paste it into Google with quotes around it, and that's how you can figure out if someone has stolen the content. So in this case, before the DMCA takedown from Google, I was able to copy and paste this sentence into Google and see that this guy clearly stole all of our content. Mm -hmm. Like five pages of our main content, our main services, yeah. completely stolen, every single word. Yeah, and it, it really kind of hit us because we work really hard on our website design and we actually hired a copywriter to help us with writing that content. So she wasn't too happy that it got stolen yeah. either. So he even stole the images too on yeah. some of our pages. It's This was a bad one. This was like almost a complete copy and paste from the whole website. Yeah. And it just wasn't a cool thing to do. And although we want the website to get taken down, we're kind of happy with where it stands right now yeah. because because Google least, took it seriously. Yeah, yeah, Google took it seriously, and we can't really prove that he got any customers from stealing our content. So those are a few different ways that you can deal with DMCA takedowns. I know it's a lot of steps, but this is part of running an online business. Is yeah. this is going to happen to you eventually? It's not if it's people will steal your content eventually, and these are a few different ways that you can take care of it. And in most cases, it's fine. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and our email newsletter where we give you updates every week about all the video tutorials that we publish. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.